Hi, and welcome to another session in the Crafting Corner with me, Valerie Graham. Today we're going to be working on uh, chunky bead necklaces with matching earrings. So if you can see, take a look at my, the necklace I'm wearing. Okay, this is what is meant by a chunky bead necklace. It's, uh, the, the beads are chunky. They're bigger than uh, a regular size eight millimeter bead. Um, also, you in each of the kits comes with pre-made earrings, okay? Because for this craft, you're not going to have to use any tools. <clears throat> We're going to be using uh, assortment of beads, both wood and uh, uh, Glass beads, crystal beads. We're going to be using um, uh, no, so I don't have any ceramics. No, yeah, I do have a uh, no, some glass beads. I have glass beads. I have acrylic beads and uh, and wood beads, as well as some metallics also. So there's a variety of uh, bead chunky bead necklaces here that you can make. Um, I'm going to show you how to make one, <clears throat> a chunky bead necklace. You know what, I was going to do this one, but I think what I want to do is I want to switch up and do a chunky bead so you know what I mean when I say chunky. This is another uh, chunky bead. This one is mostly wood, wood beads, and it has a matching set of earrings. So as you can see, I only used a couple of the beads from the pattern, but it matches pretty nicely, I think. Okay, okay, so let's, um, let's, you know what, this is a really chunky, chunky bead necklace. So let's work on this one, all right? Now, <clears throat> you always wanna have either a towel or a bead board to create your pattern on, okay? So um, I don't know how many of you have a bead board. So for this, for this demonstration, I'm gonna use the towel to lay out my beads, okay? So I'm gonna empty the pouch and I'm gonna put the cording to the side and let me find my earrings. Okay, so here are my earrings. These are the matching earrings for this uh, necklace for this set, okay? So for this one, in each of your kits, and some, not each of them, but some of them, you may have a pattern, a picture of a pattern inside your bag, okay? Um, so let's just start by making, creating a pattern using these beads. So we're gonna put these in the middle, and we're gonna start like this. So every other bead, is a wood bead, then a metallic bead. Wood bead, then a metallic bead. Now I have a, quite a few greens, so I'm gonna start with the green up there. And metallic. Let's see, let's do this blue one, okay. And then another metallic. Do another yellow. Now I'm just randomly picking beads, trying to, you know, to get a look, a good look and feel of how my pattern is going. I don't want to put the yellows too close together. Okay, I also have orange, so let's see. Let's put the orange here. Then we'll put this brown. Another green. And let's see, let's do this red. Uh, and we'll do the blue. So notice I'm making it in the shape of a necklace. Okay, so it just makes it easier, gives me an idea what my necklace is gonna look like after I get my pattern done. Okay, then this, I'll do this brown, orange, and one. Let's do, let's, I'm gonna put the yellow here. And right now, the most important thing is getting all your beads on the board. Okay, and you're probably going to need all, every single bead that you have. Um, <clears throat> so make sure that when you're making your pattern that you're using all of your beads. 
not just a few, but all of your beads. Okay, so let's fit this. Let's fit this orange one in here, and let's see. I'm gonna put uh, move this over here. Put this brown here. Orange. I got the green. Okay, and then I'm going to I'm gonna switch these two. Okay, I need a metallic bead here. Okay. And let's see. Still got more. Still got more beads. Okay. So now when I put it on my bead board, you know, it, it even right up, but because I have I'm using this um towel, it's making a little bit more challenging to put the beads on. Also, you you could put them closer together so you'll have more than enough space to add your beads. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at our our pattern. Now, I have I have four green beads here. So I want to try to space those a little bit different cuz I don't want them to be so close together. So, I'm going to take this green one and I think what I'll do is I'll put this red one over here and move this green one here. Then I still have another green one here. So I'm gonna take this green one, put it here and put that there. Oh, but look here. I put two metallic beads together. I don't, that's not what I want. So I'm gonna switch that and make it like that, okay? Now, it looks like this pattern looks pretty good, however, they end it with the same type B. You don't want that. What you want to end with is a wood bead and a metallic bead on either side because we're going to tie these to tie the strand together. And when we tie the strand together, we don't want to have two beads, uh, two of the same beads together. Okay, so I'm going to take this one out. But I think my pattern looks pretty good. I think my colors. Uh, okay, I'm going to switch this one. Well, no, I don't like that. Okay. Okay. So I think this looks pretty good. All right. So what I would say to you is, you know, check your pattern before you start stringing. Because once you start stringing, you don't want to have to remove your beads because you put your because your, your pattern wasn't quite right. So check your pattern. Make sure you like the pattern that you have displayed in front of you, okay? All right, so I'm gonna start stringing. Start stringing my beads, okay? And remember, this is going to be one continuous strand of beads. So you wanna make sure your colors are pretty continuous here in the back. Now see, I noticed that my two greens are kind of a little too close together. So I'm gonna switch this one, move it here. I'm gonna put this yellow here, and then I'm gonna switch, I'll switch the red, okay, so that, all right, so let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, I got, okay, I found out, I found what was the issue. <clears throat> just, by, just by looking at my pattern a second time, I noticed that I have two wood beads together. It needs a metallic, so it goes there. Okay? So I want to, I want to switch this a little bit. So I'm going to move this one here, put that green there, and I'm going to move this one back here and put that there, right? Okay, I think I'm good with my pattern. All right, so here's my, my uh, cording. It's about 30 inches long. <clears throat> now in stringing your beads, you can always tie a bead on the end of your cording, like this. Just tie a bead on. This will prevent your beads from falling off as you're working. 
But what I like to use, I always like to use binder clips because they work really, really well. You just put it on the end of your bead and you start stringing and your beads won't fall off, okay? But because I already tied a bead on the end, I'm just gonna use that. And I'm gonna start stringing my beads, okay? So I'm gonna start from this end. Now these beads, they have a pretty large hole. The, uh, especially the wood beads, they have a pretty large hole. So it's, you're less likely to have a pop problem stringing your beads on. Now also I wanted to, I, I want to tell you that when you're working with this type of cord, cording, it sometimes frays on the end. So what you can do is use a little bit of glue. Just put a little bit of a dab of glue on the end of your cording. Come on, there we go. And just rub it on like that to keep it from continuing to fray. Okay, and it makes it a lot easier for you to string on your, your beads. You don't have to do that with the clear elastic cording, but with uh, cording like this, you want to add a little bit of glue on the end to secure your, your end so that you could get it through the hole. Okay, so here's, here's what I have so far. Looks pretty good, right? Just continue stringing on our beads. Okay, so I have a little problem here. So I'm gonna take a, a Q-tip, I mean a toothpick, and just press it inside. Just press it inside. Now, um, <clears throat> you can use a toothpick, but I also have this tool I wanted to show you. For those of you who like to make jewelry, I also have this tool called a bead reamer. And that too will help to clear your hole. This one, this one has a, a bit of a, yeah. Okay, so I was able to get it through there. But there was something, a piece that was stuck right there on the side that was preventing me from pushing it in. You could, you could get it through, um, off with a uh, toothpick, but I wanted to show you what the bead reamer looked like. Wait a minute, it's on this side. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, something's not right here. Okay, this one. Let's see, let's try it again. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> it might help to have something sharp to put through that, um, that hole if the toothpick is not working. You can even use the end of your scissors because I think my problem is right at the hole, not the inside, but it's more in the hole. There's something, a um, piece of metal that was still attached that they didn't really clean off properly. Of course, you know these are all, uh, cost, this is costume jewelry. So it's not the good stuff, but you can make it look like the good stuff. Okay, always the metallic beads. Okay. 
Okay. Almost there. Okay. We got them all on. All right. So now let's go back over here and take this, take this knot out so that we can measure the necklace. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I love this. I don't know. You might not find this one in your kits, available kits. I like this. No, I'm just kidding. But <clears throat> here it is. This is the necklace. Remember, here's the earrings that match with it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to tie these ends together. We're going to finish this off by tying the ends together. That's left over right, then under, pull, and then right over left and under. We're going to, we're finishing it off with a square knot and pull it nice and tight, okay? Then we're going to do, we're going to do a second square knot, left, left over right, then under, right over left, then under. This is how I learned in Girl Scouts how to make a square knot, okay? Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to add some glue. Always add some glue on your knots. Okay. Then take your toothpick and just spread your glue around just a little bit. I'm just spreading the glue on both sides, on all sides of the knot. Okay. Then we're going to cut the excess cording off. There we go. All right. And if you notice, we have a pretty big hole there, so we can hide the knot inside that hole. Okay? And there you have it. A lovely necklace and earring set that you can wear <clears throat> on your next occasion. So all of these kits... As I said before, all of these kits, they come with uh, pre-made earrings and, um, and a necklace that you make yourself. Now, um, the earrings are pre-made because we're, we weren't sure who might have tools to make uh, the earrings. And you do need tools to make earrings. So if you want, um, if, you're, if you're interested in doing... Um, making jewelry using tools, then you'll have to purchase your own tools. And maybe we could do a class sometime down the line. But here is our project for, um, for today. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this session. And I certainly hope that you'll get some good use, some good wear out of your newly made jewelry sets. And remember to register early with the city. Uh, you can call the Recreation Department at 908-474-8600, or you can uh, register on Community Pass. Well, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next occasion. Have a great day. Bye.